Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a good Saturday morning so far or wherever you are in the world. Today, I wanted to talk about something rather exciting that I've been thinking about over the past month. I had invested in Nikola Motor back when it was an acquisition with VTIQ, the holding firm. And through the process, I've been trying to learn as much as I can about Nikola Motor. What kind of company are they? First of all, Trevor Milton says that they don't want to bother with manufacturing, so they're going to outsource quite a bit of those activities to other companies that are already in the field and have all of the equipment and expertise to do so. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. So first was the Badger. The Badger looks really nice. Let me share my thoughts on this with you. So my theory, and I could be completely wrong, and this is just strictly speculation, but Dodge Ram is owned by Fiat, Fiat Chrysler Group out of Italy. Basically, they own, they own the they own the Dodge Ram trucks. So, and coincidentally, I'll show I'll share the next one with you. They are partnering with CNH Industrial Brands for the Nikola 1, Nikola 2, and I believe the Nikola 3 semi-truck with the sister company Iveco. And this title tells you everything. So CNH Industrial Brands Iveco are going to partner together with Nikola to announce the production of the semi-trucks out of home, Germany. And why do I, why am I talking about this? Well, basically, based on the research that I've done, the European market is gravitating towards hydrogen power. They, in Germany, it's very popular and they already have quite a few stations. So these are, this is my speculation. Do your own due diligence. Consult your financial advisor, as I always tell you, because I, I will tie this all together on my thoughts on investments uh, moving forward with Nikola Motor. It's not just about Nikola, in my view. It's about indirect plays as well. So just as we see it with Apple. So you, you invest in Apple and somebody else profits and benefits from Apple's success, such as the chip makers. I believe uh, Intel makes some chips for Apple and then they just announced, Apple just announced that they're going to make their own chips. But anyways, regardless, that's just an example of indirect plays because during these indirect plays, the partners benefit. So in this case, CNHI Industrial and Fiat Chrysler with the Dodge Ram pickup trucks and the Rebel to be exact. So if you look at the pictures of the Rebel, I'll share that again with you. So one of these is the Rebel. I think it's the sportier package right there in the, in the gray. You can see where it is. Uh, I'll mark it up here. You can see here, this is the Rebel. You can see, you can draw your own conclusions, but if you were just to change the front, uh, the front of it to a different emblem that says Nikola Motors and a little bit of a different flare on the front uh, hood, you, you can see some similarities. And coincidentally, the share prices of Fiat have been going up with the momentum of Nikola. 
again, this is speculation, but yeah, I did, I did invest in Fiat Chrysler, and it hasn't gone up significantly, but it's gone up enough where it's you know keeping up with the S and P five hundred, and it's looking very promising. I think the share prices were around nine dollars a few weeks ago, and now they're up to ten yesterday. So it's it's slowly but surely climbing. I think that Fiat Chrysler, if Nikola does well, is going to make it out of this current economic environment, if you may, because of the battery electric competition that we're all seeing in EV and also they'll have the option to offer people a hydrogen truck. So that's the disparity between the $60,000 and the $90,000 I believe Trevor Milton mentioned. And another exciting thing is that these trucks will be uh, loaded with advanced technology. If you look at the 2020 Dodge Ram infotainment system already, it's pretty large. I think the, the, the display is about 12 inch, 12 inches, 12 inches uh, in size for the infotainment system on the Dodge Ram uh, 2020. So. These are just my thoughts, uh, but you know it, there is some there is good logic to them. I, do your you know look it up for yourself. And also another company I was trying to trace was who's somebody was going to provide the cylinders for the hydrogen trucks, and that's out of Norway. I can't quite recall the name of the company. I think it was. The ticker symbol was something O R E N dot I, but I wasn't sure what. It didn't seem as though you could buy shares of. There might be uh, lim very limited shares on on that company. So those are two indirect plays that I wanted to share with you, and I hope it is of some help. The CNHI, I would be careful with that one because the UK has been hit harder economically than the United States, especially the manufacturing sector. I, I suspect that it will return, but it's going to be quite, uh, quite a bit uh, longer than some of the under, other tech industries. It's just, that's the nature of manufacturing. But I hope you've found this video helpful. If, if you have, please like, subscribe, share the ideas with friends and family who might be interested. And I will keep uh, doing research and trying to provide information for, for all that are interested. Have a great weekend and take care.